it was made official on WWE's website that Daniel Bryan was released from his contract. So it's been around 24 hours. There are still people raving about whether this firing of Bryan Danielson from WWE is true or if WWE working the internet fans. Two Raws ago, there was the angle at the end of the show that had the NXT rookies from season one swarm ringside, beat up Luke Gallows, beat up CM Punk, jump on the apron, go into the ring, beat up John Cena. I always get a laugh when John Cena gets the crap kicked out of him. <laughs> they beat up Matt Stryker, they beat up Jerry Lawler, Michael Cole made a run for it, they beat up the timekeeper, security, Justin Roberts got choked with a tie, they ripped up the ring apron, the canvas, they took down the ropes, they flipped the announce table, they ripped apart the barricade, and then Daniel Bryan was released and wished well in his future endeavors. And now the Raw just gone. Bret Hart, the Raw general manager, fired Wade Barrett and the other remaining six NXT rookies. And then they did another angle at the end of Raw this past week. And they're throwing stuff backstage and there's a couple of them and they got a hold of Bret Hart and then he looks like he's been beaten up or whatever and then they throw him into the back of a limousine and then they get the driver to reverse into other vehicles BAM! But now there are some people believing that Brian Danielson was the driver of the limo. There is still hope for him yet.